In this video, we're going to be working through problems from the 2019 version of the Algebra 1 EOC for the state of Texas, all questions from reporting category number five. This category mainly deals with exponential equations and functions. So number nine, an exponential function is graphed on the grid. Which function is best represented by the graph? So your test taking strategy for this particular problem is to go through your answer choices. Anytime you have g of x equals, like f of x equals, g of x equals, remember that's just fancy schmancy for y. Anytime you have y equals in your problem, whether it be in the question or in your answer choices, a good strategy is you can plug it into y equals on your calculator and see what's going on, graph it and see what's going on. So which function is best represented by the graph? Go through these answer choices and look at your table of values. You need to make sure that 0, 6 is a point on your, in your table of values, right? So second graph, that'll give you your table of values. 1, 2 is a point. Remember, a lot of students want to go, oh, that's 1, 1. Nope. If you look at your x-axis, the scale is different than your y-axis. Your y-axis counts by twos and your x-axis counts by ones. So be sure that you're paying attention to that. And your answer for number nine is A. Let's move on to number 18. Number 18 is a word problem. This is typically more difficult for students. So I'm going to kind of show you some, some strategies that you can use to, to work through problems like these. A bank account earning annual compound interest was opened and no additional deposits or withdrawals were made after the initial deposit. The balance in the account after X years can be modeled by B of X equals 850 times 1.025 raised to the power of X. Okay, I know it's an exponential function because my variable is the exponent. Test taking strategy, anytime you see like b of x equals, f of x equals, fancy schmancy for y, you can plug it into your graphing calculator. That's a great place to start when you have no idea where to start. I'm going to make some notes on this particular problem. The first would be that I noticed that that represents exponential growth or decay. Because that decimal is larger than one, it's greater than one, I know that it's going to represent growth. The other thing, since it's a word problem, I need to make sure that I understand what the different variables represent. So x represents years, and b of x, which is fancy schmancy for y, right, the output, represents the balance in the account. So I'm just going to write that down, and that's going to help as we go through our answer choices to see which statement is the best interpretation of one of the values in this function. So f says, and I just got to work through my answer choices, the initial balance of the account decreases, well, can I stop there? I can stop there because this is actually going to increase. So I know it's not F. Let's move on to the next one. The balance in the account increases, check, at a rate of 2.5% each year. Okay, well, what is the rate of growth? Well, it's the decimal okay that part that's greater than one so i can figure that out by 1.025 and you can plug this in on your calculator minus one is 0 0.025 and i can convert that decimal to a percent you can use your calculator but i can move my decimal to the right right decimal to percent dr pepper move my decimal to the right to the right and i get two and a half percent there's my answer now when you're taking your Algebra 1 EOC, I will tell my students, just go ahead and go through the rest of your answer choices and make sure that they absolutely can be eliminated. There's no chance that um, they could be answer choices and just make sure that you get the answer right, right? Do everything, because this is kind of the biggest test of the year. Number 27, what is the value of the y-intercept? The y-intercept is when x is 0, right? So you're looking for when x is 0 of the graph of h of x equals 29 times 5.2 to the power of x. So remember, fancy schmancy for y. Anytime you see y equals, what can you do? Plug it in on your graphing calculator. Graph it. Look at your table of values. You're looking for when x is 0. The other thing you may remember from 
this particular particular unit is that the value of a is the y-intercept. So that means that 0, 29 is your y-intercept. And since this is a free response question, it's going to look like this, plus, minus. Do I have to bubble in the plus, the positive when it's positive? I don't. Can you? Absolutely. But what I tell my students is just write the prob write the answer, just like that, right? So if you want to write positive, you can, but the positive is not necessary, okay? Number 31. The table represents some points on the graph of an exponential function. Which function represents the same relationship? Okay, we're given a bunch of y equals. In my answer choices, what can you do? Go through your uh, answer choices, plug them into y equals, and see which one matches. Okay, so go through your answer choices, plug each one into y equals, right? Look at your table of values. Look at your table of values and see which one matches. Make sure that you're plugging this into your calculator correctly. Okay, so your answer for number 31 is B. And let's move on. Let's see, we've got two more problems. Not much for exponential functions in Algebra 1, but... Number 38, which graph best represents y equals 10 times 0.85 to the power of x? Some things I notice are this is going to show growth or decay. Decay, and what is the general shape? It could be g or j, but h and f represent exponential growth functions. So if you notice that, you can go ahead and eliminate some answer choices and automatically you've increased your chances of getting the answer correct. So anytime you see y equals, plug it into your graphing calculator and see, oh, it's not letting me do that, circle it, see which one matches. And your answer will be, gee, some really big things that you need to notice or maybe find a couple points on your graph. For example, 0, 10, make sure that that is a point that's also on your table of values um, on your calculator, okay? So, you know, some other kind of points that you might want to look at are somewhere around 3, 6, around there, or, you know, 10, 2. Just make sure that those are points that are on your calculator, right? Okay, let's move on to the very last problem, 2019 version, reporting category number 5. A part of an exponential function is graphed on the grid. Which inequality best represents the domain? What do I have you write above the word domain? X values. And then if you reread it, which inequality best represents the X values of the part shown? Can you eliminate any answer choices automatically? I can eliminate B and D because that has a Y. Okay, I'm looking for the X values. How far left to how far right? We're using the number line, the horizontal number line, our x values. So look at the numbers on the x axis. And the furthest left that it goes is right here. So negative 2 is our most leftist point. And then it will just continue because there's an arrow up here going up and out forever and ever and ever and ever and ever, which means x is going to be greater than or equal to negative 2. Your answer is A. And that concludes this particular video over reporting category number 5, 2019 version of the Algebra 1 EOC. I hope it was helpful.